Those are brand new spell towers and they come in a pair of two. The first ever Dark Elixir Defense. What's up, welcome back to Wrathor Gaming and today we are going to look at the second sneak peek of Clash of Clans upcoming October update and it includes three new buildings. Stay tuned. Today we have the second sneak peek in Clash of Clans Town Hall 15 update and it introduces us to new defenses, the Spell Tower and Monolith. Magical color palettes are the only arcane affections being introduced with the Town Hall 15 update. We are bringing two brand new defenses to Town Hall 15. Base building will never be the same again. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's quite right. So let's go, check the quality, 720 pixels and let's go. So we see here. Prepare for new defenses for the brand new and awesome looking Town Hall 15. And what is that? A monolith? This looks so cool! And just looks how it shoots! And yo, look at that health points! It kills! It's like a tank killer, I think. So now we have spell towers. Also pretty awesome. Yo, it just boosts like um, your whole village with all the uh, defensive buildings. And then they're probably stronger and attack faster. Okay, that is awesome! You can finally have defensive spells! Same with the uh, poison spell. Um, it's just like the Town Hall poison spell, but this time you can actually throw it at enemies. <laughs> you can even uh, make your defenses invisible. So imagine like the monolith and the Town Hall and the Scattershot all being invisible. So that is pretty cool. Um, we also have like the official artwork here. It seems like they only have three levels. So you can either choose to have a rage spell, a poison spell or an invisibility spell. That is so cool because you also get two of those spell towers. And that means you could have one spell tower that rages, for example, your town hall um, with a scatter shot, maybe even a multi inferno tower. And then you also have a monolith inside there. Plus, the second spell tower that makes everything invisible, so the troops cannot attack it. And I think base building is going to be so much more complex with this update, and it's something that I really like, because they are actually taking a look at the defensive side of Clash of Clans, and yeah, well, they have done huge changes to that. So, what do we have here? As spell tower is leveled, it becomes imbued with different spells, as we yeah, have seen it here allowing you to select which spell it will cast while defending your base. So pretty much um, here are the upgrade costs and upgrade times as well as the hit points. And um, yeah, at level 1 it unlocks the rage spell, at level 2 the poison spell and at level 3 the invisibility spell. So the invisibility spell is probably the most OP one I think. If you can just, I don't know, make like this monstrous, monstrous looking creature structure invisible, that's gonna be OP I think and the monolith has only two upgrade levels um, but it looks sick like this looks badass tell me in the comments what you think guys um, <laughs> that is pretty cool uh, this is a tank killing defense it is so sinister it's constructed and upgraded with dark elixir <laughs> wow that's the first ever dark elixir structure or defense and um, yeah that's Insane! It costs 300,000 Dark Elixir to upgrade at level 1. Um, it takes 18 days to upgrade and has a base damage of 150 damage per second. And you also get a bonus damage which accounts 14% of the troops um, HP. So this means if a barbarian has let's say 100 health points, it will make not only 150 damage, but also 150 plus 14 damage. Well, yeah, it dies either way. But if we have something like, a, I don't know, a tank, a golem with 10,000 hit points, then that is going to be 1,400 damage plus the 150 base damage. Oh, <laughs> this looks like a very interesting um, structure. So um, yeah, tell me in the comments what you think about that, like that is so cool to finally have a base where you can put your spells on the battleground but for the defensive side. It's something that a lot of people wanted, including me, and I really like how they have um, treated the idea and made it into the game. 
Um, so we also watch a CWL attack from me. And imagine this base, but let's say here where all the gaps are, you have like those two spell towers and the monolith. And then the town hall and the monolith go invisible and are getting raged. Or you just throw poison on troops everywhere. Like this is going to change the whole attacking meta at town hall 15. And um, I'm really hyped for it. <laughs> it's really cool how they are attacking a really good stance at this magical theme for Town Hall 15. It's awesome, I really like it. I hope they will keep it this way and maybe introduce new levels for the spell tower. So maybe we can also use a freeze spell to freeze down the enemies. Um, I mean, they might do it. They, I mean, what other spells could they use? Um, they could use a lightning spell, but this seems kind of neglected as the poison spell would obviously make more damage, I guess. Um, they could also use an earthquake spell, but <laughs> it doesn't really make sense because then it would damage themselves. Probably, I don't know. Um, maybe they could use a clone spell for the heroes? I don't know. But then the heroes would be 2p, like on the defending side. Hmm. Like, I don't know how to implement the, those spells, but those three spells that they choose, uh, chose right now um, are pretty cool. And um, yeah, let's go back and look at what other spell types we have that could be used in such a defensive manner. So, yeah, the lightning spell, well, it does do damage. I think the poison spell is pretty much better at it because it also decreases the speed and their attack rate. Um, oh yeah, you could use a healing spell for the next level of the healing tower. So then at level 4, let's say it unlocks the healing spell and then it is going to throw like a heal spell next to um, a couple of buildings and they're going to act just like the battle builder from the builder's hut where they are repairing hit points from defenses or structures or buildings that have uh, yeah that have to be repaired they could do this and what else could they do a jump spell uh, <laughs> okay well that doesn't make any sense um, what else skeleton spell oh yeah true they could either summon a skeleton spell or a bad spell and then you have like more defensive troops um, I think that a bad spell would be pretty devastating as uh, for like for a ground attacker because uh, if you couple it with a I don't know a lava hound in the clan castle and it's like the, la the clan castle is like at the top base and the bad spell is the bottom base you have to take like two poison spells if you're only a ground attacker um, yeah it, it it will be interesting what new spells they will. Um, introduced there. I don't think the hay spell will make any sense in a defensive manner, so um, the only three spells I see being added are the healing spell, the bad spell, and the skeleton spell. This one. Yep. So, yeah, tell me in the comments what you think could be the next spell level for, like, I don't know, the, the new update in 2023. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about what is going to come. And let's have a quick sneak peek for tomorrow's sneak peek. What's that skittering sound underfoot? Or do I hear the flitter of fiery wings flapping in flight? Piqued your curiosity yet? Stay tuned for tomorrow's preview for more details. Ooh. So as you might know from my previous sneak peek one video, the pet house is going to get a new level and not just one or two they're going to get four new levels putting them at level eight and this means we're going to get probably four new pets and i'm hyped i hope you're too and we'll see us again back tomorrow with more sneak peeks and more pets clash on <laughs>